नमस्कार टुडे आई विल डिस्कस आर्थोगोनल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन्स फॉर द कायनेमेटिक्स ऑफ रिजिड बॉडी डिपाइन आर्थोगोनल ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन शो दैट द फाइनाइट रोटेशन ऑफ अ रिजिड बॉडी अबाउट अ फिक्स पॉइंट ऑफ द बॉडी इज नॉट कम्यूटेटिव सोल्यूशन नाउ सीयर Consider x1, x2, x3 and x1 dash, x2 dash, x3 dash with two coordinate system. The general linear transformation between these two coordinates system is defined by the following set of equations: x i dash is equal to a11 x1 plus a12 x2 plus a13 x3. x2 dash is equal to a21 x1 plus a22 x2 plus a23 x3 x3 dash is equal to a31 x1 plus a32 x2 plus a33 x3 where a11 a12 dot dot a33 are constant these three equations can be combined into a single equation as x i dash is equal to summation of a i j x j i j is equal to one two three, where a is equal to a i j is called the matrix of transformations. Let a vector r bar is equal to x one i plus x two j plus x three k, defined in x one x two x three. coordinates system b transform to x1 dash x2 dash x3 dash coordinate system in the form r bar is equal to x dash x1 dash i plus x2 dash j plus x3 dash k since the magnitude of the vector must be the same in both the coordinate system we must have therefore summation of x i square x i dash square is equal to summation of x i square using equation 2 in equation 3 therefore summation of summation of a i j x i multiply summation of a i k x k is equal to summation of x i square and summation of summation of summation A I J A I A J K X I X K is equal to I is equal J is equal to one two three K is equal to one two three I is equal to one two three is equal to summation of X I square I is equal to one two three. Equating the corresponding coefficient on both the sides of the above equation, we get. Summation of a i j a i k is equal to delta i k, where delta i k is the conical delta symbol and is defined by delta i k delta j k is equal to zero, where j is not equal to k, is equal to one, where j is equal to k. Thus, any transformations to satisfying for is called an orthogonal transformation. Example. Next example. Show that two successive finite rotations of a rigid body about a fixed point of the body are not commutative. Consider two successive linear transformations. Described by the matrix B and A corresponding to two successive displacement of the rigid body. Let the first transformation from x to x dash be denoted by the matrix B and is defined by x i x x k dash is equal to summation of B K J X J J is equal to one two three K is equal to one two three 
where the matrix of the transformation is b is equal to b k j let the succeeding transformation from x dash to x double dash be defined by the matrix a is equal to a i k and is given by x i double dash is equal to summation of a i k x k dash k is equal to 1 2 3 and now the transformation from x to x double dash is obtained by combining the two equations 6 and 7 as x i double dash is equal to a i k b k j x j i j j is equal to 1 to k 3 this may also be written as x i double dash is equal to summation of c i j x j i is equal to 1 to 3 where c is equal to c i j is the matrix of the transformation from x to x double dash and the elements of the matrix of the transformation are obtained or defined as summation of c i j is equal to summation of a i k b k j k is equal to 1 to 3 these elements are obtained by multiplying the two matrices a and b thus the two successive linear transformation described by a and b is equivalent to a third linear transformation described by the matrix c and defined by c is equal to a b since the matrix multiplications is not commutative in general hence the finite rotations of a rigid body about a fixed point of the body are not commutative and hence